so far away. Doesn't anybody know the lyrics to this song? Hi there everyone and welcome back to Christina Does. Today marks week three of my March 30 day challenge of DIY beauty products and this week I'm going to be focusing on three different DIYs that you can do for your face. So I actually have combo to oily skin in terms of like my face complexion and even though I'm over 30 years old I still get acne which is kind of obnoxious to say the least. So the three DIYs that I'm going to be focusing on are kind of catered more towards if you have acne prone skin or if you have oily skin in general. So if that applies to you, by all means, give these DIYs a try. Hopefully they don't suck like last week's. So the first DIY that I will be doing is a turmeric based acne face mask dealio thing that's supposed to help with acne. Hopefully it does. The second DIY that I will be doing because I have gross uh, a lot of clogged pores on my nose. Um, I'm actually going to be trying to make my own DIY Biore like pore strip deals and I found a vegan recipe for it too so if you are watching this and you are vegan let's see if it works and if not then you know. And last but not least the last DIY that I have is after I take everything off my face I have a, a rose hip witch hazel toner recipe that I've been meaning to try. Apparently witch hazel is very good for the face in general or for the skin. So hopefully this all works out together. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, in order to make this acne fighting face mask deal, I'm going to need three ingredients, so you're going to need three ingredients. Uh, the first one is one tablespoon of coconut oil, and I went ahead and measured that out to save some time. You will need one teaspoon of turmeric, just going to go ahead and dump that in there. And then you will need a squeeze of fresh lemon juice, and then you mix it all up. Okay, and this, this is what you get as a result. So, hopefully it works. And to make your DIY vegan pour strips, you really need just two ingredients. Though the recipe that I found actually uses some essential oil as well, but I just uh, don't feel like it. <clears throat> You just need two ingredients really to pull this off. One tablespoon of agar agar, which is uh, like a vegan gelatin, and it comes in little powdery form like this. And then you just need one tablespoon of some milk alternative. In this case, we have almond in our house. So you're going to go ahead and mix that in, if it'll focus, in your double boiler. And wait till that gets goopy. From my understanding, it won't take very long. It's looking a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so I tried adding just a tablespoon of almond milk to the agar agar, and it just, it looked like the actual flakes weren't breaking down at all. So I took it off the heat and then I added a little bit of water to it and it kind of helped break down the the little flakes a little bit more but it definitely is not going as quick as the chick mentioned in her post where she's like oh yeah it only takes 15 to 20 seconds for it to start doing things. No. Wrong. Incorrect. And the picture of the stuff that she has on her website looks absolutely nothing like the disgusting pile of goo that I have in front of me right now. Not really excited to put this on my face, but in the name of 
trying a face DIY, we're gonna give it a shot. And if it sucks, I'll never do it again. Alright, so the last DIY is less of a DIY and more of a buy, honestly. Um, I tried to find rose petals that were not like from a florist or that were like organic, but uh, so I couldn't find any rose petals, organic rose petals that didn't cost like 40 bucks and had to ship through Amazon or something like that to mix with just traditional regular witch hazel. So instead I found that Thayer's just actually creates, oops, that's the French version, a rose petal alcohol-free toner that has witch hazel in it. And I've been told that this actually works as a toner. And I've been using this from Sage, probably mispronounced that. And it's an acne-free or an acne-prone toner dealio to help with skin. This whole thing was $14, and this right here was $13. So I think I'm getting a better deal. But if anything, I'm going to give this a test run and see if my face freaks out after I've done the mask and the pore strip. And I'm just going to pour it into this squirt bottle and reuse it, because uh, why not? There we go. Let's give it a try. Okay, so I have washed my face, got all my makeup off and everything like that, so now I am just going to use the DIY turmeric face mask and, oops, let me make a mess, and put it all over my face and wait for it to dry before I take it off and do the next step. So here we go. Wow, that has a very potent smell. Feels really nice. In terms of consistency, it just has a very distinct, you know, smell. And I am going to be orange. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I see the I see the flaw. I see the flaw in the plan. Okay. Now that I have put turmeric and lemon juice and coconut oil on my face. I'm just gonna wash off my hands and wait for this to dry. Okay, so after about two to three minutes of having the turmeric stuff on my face, you don't want to keep it on longer according to instructions, and I can see why. You can't really tell, but uh, it did kind of stain my face a little bit. A little yellow, which I can't say I'm surprised. Turmeric is can be used as a natural dye too, like a yellow dye. So you gotta be careful with it. Also, if you have white towels, probably shouldn't use them when you're making that. But my skin feels really clean and not oily or greasy or anything like that. It didn't irritate my skin in any capacity either, but I had to use my soap to really get that yellow off my skin from the turmeric because it just would have stayed on there otherwise. And now we're on to the part that I am most nervous about and that is the DIY pore strip for my nose. Now I don't know about you guys but uh, real talk for two seconds, I have really clogged pores on my nose and I've been trying to find something other than the Biore pore strip to really sort of lift them out that is also cruelty free because that's something that's important to me. And I'd like to think that I found it in this DIY online, but I'm not entirely sure. So let's just go ahead and give it a try. First it calls for taking some of the agar agar stuff and making a layer on your nose. I'm gonna just take an old makeup brush that I don't use anymore and put food on my face, just like last week. And some PTSD flashbacks here. Oh, or you could do that. Yeah, you could do that. Just go ahead and fall everywhere. It's fine. I'm supposed to let this dry before I put on layer number two. So I'm gonna, hopefully this dries pretty quickly. We'll find out. Okay, so there. <laughs> This looks absolutely disgusting. 
Uh, this is the dried down version of the agar agar on my nose, the first layer. And now I'm going to take a second layer and then the recipe calls for the strip part of the, the uh, pour strip. It's just toilet paper. Here we go. No! Stop getting everywhere! I need you to stay on my nose! This is not what gelatin looks like. I don't care what anyone says, Japan. So now I'm going to just rip off half a square of TP and put it on my nose. And then I apparently wait for this to dry before putting on another layer and so on and so forth until something magical happens. This is a good look for me. I feel like I'm a uh, mermaid man or barnacle boy. This is what this, this DIY taught me. Okay, it has been about, I would say 30 minutes that I've had this on my face, which is way longer than obviously an actual like pore strip. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and and let's see if it, let's see if it works. You're still hoping. Okay. <laughs> it is still wet and wow. Okay. No, that just, that just, that just came right off. That did nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face because I have toilet paper all over it and that is weird. Alright, so I've washed all of the crap off my face and the final step is this uh, DIY, sort of more of a buy. Witch hazel toner, face toner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray that on my face and hope it doesn't. Hope it's okay. Oh wow, that smells really nice because of the rose. Okay, final impressions of the DIY face mask, the pore strip, and the toner is that. The pore strip was full of shit. That did nothing. It dried, didn't, it didn't dry. It did not strip. It did nothing. The face mask was pretty cool in the sense that it made my skin feel really nice and smooth and it didn't irritate my skin at all. And this area in particular is really sensitive on me so that was really nice. I'll definitely use that again. And the toner is actually really awesome. It smells so lovely with the rose and it felt really nice and light and refreshing on my face without feeling like sticky or tacky or anything like that. So two out of three, that's not too bad in terms of like DIYs and stuff. So thank you guys again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.